well 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 what's up family how we doing today welcome back to the channel remember i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice right so don't take it as that um welcome back apes welcome back retail investors welcome back anybody who wants to you know learn about the market and uh figure out you know how it works and how you know the back end works and what you're actually doing with your money and how to make the best decision you know right when you're choosing your stocks and so on right so take it for educational purposes and so on but yeah shout out to the apes you know we're holding strong still guys ain't nothing changed until they cover right because we know they haven't covered all right so in today's video we're going to talk about um the uh haircut you know haircuts <laughs> the news that broke out over the weekend right then on friday actually the dtcc sent out a letter i'm sure you've seen it but if you haven't i'll show that to you and uh kind of break it down just a little bit more right because um I, i've seen some really really long videos out there uh over the weekend but we need to just kind of define and refer to what the haircut is right it's not having to do anything with your barber right but shout out to all barbers out there right they keep you looking fresh <laughs> uh anyways yeah, so they basically wasted our day today with AMC. As you can see, it was pretty, pretty, uh, it ended up just, you know, same same place where it was, even though it had a dramatic fall and then a, a big rise, right? So a lot of volatility in the markets today, guys. The SPY, too. I'm actually worried about the SPY. It's on its last support, uh, you know, from the support levels and, and so on. And I'll show you that, too. But, man, it's crazy. Like, it's, it's if it breaks that, guys, it's going to go down even harder, right? And it's crazy how, you know, stocks and so on, like, they move down a lot faster than they move up, right? That's because of people panicking and selling and um, and so on, catching FOMO on the way down, right? But yeah, shout out to uh, the, the community, guys. Uh, we're, we're holding, right? And I can see everybody that's starting to, uh, you know, make videos and show that you're an AMC shareholder and prove, you know, out there that we're still holding, right? That all, all the manipulation and the corruption, right, in my opinion, is uh, that's happening with AMC and GameStop and, and in the stock market in general, right? um is there right and we're right we're waiting for them to cover we're waiting for them to pay for their mistakes right and pay for everything that they put us through in the past year and right and that's why you know i love the community because we come together and we we show up and we prove right and uh, that's like also to john wick sniping you know thanks for uh you know putting me in the in the spotlight with the community too like supporting me right i support you too you know right um because uh yeah we're all waiting we're all holding and we're, we're not leaving right it's basically like we're here what's up <laughs> all right guys so let's jump into the other screen and uh, get into some other information here all right so this is the letter that i've been talking about um the dccc uh letter put this out on april 29 2022 and they were talking about over the weekend right a lot of youtubers here I can zoom in a little more and it's basically explaining that this went into it it began right like it went into an effect on may 2nd all right and uh it's going to also show you who who it's you know addressed to which is a lot of big institutions and it's got more details here right um about like what the what are the changes and what the collateral means and so that's why i wanted to jump into this and show you guys because I'm sure you've already seen videos that went over that letter, right? But what I want to point out here is this is an example, right, of what, what it is. Um, so you have uh, an example. If a person needs a $10,000 loan and wants to use their $10,000 stock portfolio as collateral, the bank is likely to recognize the $10,000 uh, portfolio as worth only as $5,000 in collateral, right? Um, this is just an example. The 5,000 or 50% reduction in its assets value for collateral purposes is called the haircut. That's what it is, right? So it's, to me, in my opinion, it's some form of margin call, right? You got, um, you know, the banks that are saying like, hey, the, we, we see the markets are going down. We see the values are going down. Anybody who's borrowing, right, loan on the loan or margin or whatever, like you need to put up, you need to show up with more money. We need more, more collateral from you or put you know, other things. The details are in, in this, uh, right? All this of which ones and, and, and which ones got affected, right? Like by 100%, if 75% or 5%, whatever the percentage is of the haircut, okay? We're going to go down here. Um, when collateral is being pledged, the degree of the haircut is determined by the amount of the associated risk to the lender. 
These risks include any variables that may affect the value of the collateral in the event that the lender has to sell the security due to a loan default by the borrower, right? Variables that may influence the amount of the haircut include price, volatility, credit quality, and the assets issuer, if applicable, the liquidity risks of the collateral, right? That's why you saw this crazy volatility in the market today. It's just the beginning of it, right? So like they're saying, we're going to have a crazy week. Yeah, I agree. I think we're going to have a crazy week. Um, I'm just going to give you another example. Here's a good a good story, right? It's going to sound very familiar, right? So you're talking about LTCM was a hedge fund started in 1993. By 1998, it had amassed massive losses, right? Nearly resulting in a collapse of the financial system. <laughs> the whole financial system, right? The basis of LTCM's profit model, which worked very well for a while, was to suck up small profits from the market inefficiencies. This is commonly called arbitrage. The firm used historical models to highlight opportunities, then to put capital to profit from them. Each opportunity, right, they were just taking small profits, so they were using leverage or borrowed money in order to increase the gains. The firm had $5 billion in assets, yet controlled over $1 trillion in positions, but they were only worth $5 billion, right? Banks and other institutions allowed LTCM to borrow leverage so much with little collateral. <laughs> Sounds like a hedge fund that was in the news last week, right? Um, mainly because they were viewed the firm in their position as non-risky. Ultimately, though, the firm's model failed to predict inefficiencies accurately, and those massively sized positions began to lose far more money than the firm actually had, right? So margin calls. More and more of them, many of the banks and institutions to lent them to allow them to purchase assets had. The failure of LTCM, which required a bailout of the financial system, right? The government stepped in, bailed them out, resulted in a much higher haircut rules in terms of what can be posted as collateral and how much the haircut has to be. LTCM has had basically no haircuts, yet today an average investor buying regular stocks is subject to 50% haircut when using these stocks as collateral against the amount borrowed on margin trading, right? So because of this whole event, that's why now there's some rules, right? So remember, it always happens after right okay um i wanted to go over that right let's go over to the youtube real quick just like i said like shout out to john wick sniping guys he's uh definitely you know doing something for the movement check this out he's got all these people already that i've uh, posted a video and i'm i'm one of them right and i showed my position and he's got already the community showing up right so he's at 37 that's quite that's really good actually that's awesome to see i know we're going to see a lot more you know i see the subscribers coming through you know so thank you i subscribe back right if you come through and say what's up and i will uh you know go watch your video as well okay so just want to show you this is the amc community baby we got this all right like we, we're strong uh, i'll show you the chart real quick like i said it pretty much ended up right where we started even though i had this huge drop right they're trying to scare people and then they bought them right back right so a lot of volatility, but uh, just ended up right where we started for today. And uh, it's going to, in my opinion, it's going to take a little while, a few days, right, for uh, the whole, you know, haircut thing to really come into effect and see what happens with that, right? So we got we to gotta keep our eye out on that for sure. Stay on top of it. Uh, like I said, the SPY was ridiculous. Uh, just same as AMC. AMC basically followed this same pattern. Uh, but a massive drop and then a big buy-in, right? So bought it back up. But the daily chart, guys, not looking that good. Like I said, it, it there was a reason why. It's because this is one of the support lines and it, it went green. But it could very easily tomorrow just start moving its way back down. Uh, we'll have to wait. Supposedly right now, 1.4 million shares, 3,500 calls in the money. Nothing really going on there. Kind of sketchy right here how low the volume is in May and in June, right? And then it ramps up drastically. So I'm kind of interested uh, what's what's going to happen in these dates, right? And then uh, let's go over to Lucid. That's all I got on AMC right now, guys. But um, let's see, let's talk about Lucid. Uh, so for the day, looking like a, a green day, five up five percent up to 1906, right? Uh, crossed over the EMAs here, broke through and had a little run, which is awesome to see. That's a lot of buying pressure, uh, you know, green day for, for Lucid, right? Uh, we can zoom out a little bit more. Uh, we still have a ways to go, though, back to where it kind of was, right? Uh, now it's going to test the next EMA right here. So we got through, so it's probably going to come up to at least 19, 20 bucks um, soon in order to see if it can uh, cross back over, right? Start making its way back up. Um I think that people are starting to realize that EVs, you know, are making moves like with Tesla, with all these Rivian, with like 
Lucid, all these electric car companies, right? And uh, they're starting to get partnerships and investments. And that's why I'm excited. That's why I scooped up uh, more shares, right? During this period right here. Um, because like I'm going way long. I mean, I mean, looking at three years plus, you know, like that I want to hold my shares and I want to keep accumulating over time. That's my strategy, right? Um, and I think it could have had something to do with the collateral too, right? We'll have to see because it's going to depend on each stock. But a lot of these highly shorted stocks, if those those companies that are shorting, right, if they don't have the right collateral, uh, you're going to see the runs like this start to, to run right on those highly shorted stocks. Um, so real quick before, uh, you know, we go anywhere else, uh, with Lucy, I'm still going to touch on this, but this is red box. This is the runner of the day. And I, I pointed this out right on the last video that this works for traders, right? So the traders in this that got in here, right here, they most likely exited right here. That's how you get this big drop, right? But this Fibonacci tool is what they, most of them use, right? Because they're going to look at the channels and then they're just going to short it. Or well, actually, I don't know if you can't short it because this one doesn't have options. Um, but that's why you see these big pushes because it's just buying pressure, right? It's just buys versus sells because it's just the stock. And it's a very low flow. It's like 10 million shares too for Redbox. So you see it pump up, pump up, gets knocked down right there, right? And it has a massive drop. That's because of the Fibonacci, in my opinion, right? I use these tools when I'm trading, but this is like to, to get in and get out of and make money, right? Kind of gives you like some ranges like to, to trade, all right? So just want to point that out. Okay. Uh, continuing on Lucid, you know, sorry, I got distracted as we went in there, but uh, back to Lucid, guys. Um, they have signed a couple of huge partnerships, right? Lucid is beginning to really expand in more ways than one with partnership deals, opening more studios and receiving huge orders. Is, is this the beginning of the Lucid Motors inflection point, right? Uh, what Lucid investors should know. So they have partnered up with uh, NVIDIA, right? So NVIDIA, and we already know about the the Saudi Arabia news, they're buying up to 100,000 cars in the next 10 years, right? But NVIDIA, this is the new news. It's a huge partnership for Lucid. NVIDIA is an incredibly powerful company that understands that the renewable energy sector and electric vehicles are going to be an enormous market. The electric vehicle industry is projected to reach a total addressable market of over 1 trillion by 2026, right? And Lucid wants a piece of that, right? To, to build their market cap. The renewable energy market is projected to hit 2 trillion by 2030. Um, so he's now, this guy is now the chief technology officer for Rivian. He's now responsible for the software development and IT for Lucid Motors. Oh, really? Here's what he thinks about the NVIDIA Drive platform paired with the award-winning Lucid Air. So the seamless integration of the software to find NVIDIA Drive platform provides a powerful basis for the Lucid. Further enhance the dream drive can do. All right, so. It's got the NVIDIA chip in there and then Wolf Speed. They also signed a deal with Wolf Speed. It's a significant deal for Lucid Motors to sign with the next generation semiconductor. So also teams up with a semiconductor, right? Um, yeah, so Lucid has received a huge of a ton of uh, a ton of huge news lately. Investors and supporters of the company cannot be more excited. Exactly, right? Supporters and investors, guys. Like I'm an investor, whoever owns shares, you're an investor, right? Like I'm excited for sure. They're, they're progressing and uh, I really like that. I believe these moves are the deal with the Saudi Arabian government is an absolute game changer. This shows that the PIF in Saudi Arabia are not just the majority shareholders. They are long term partners. They will not be selling the shares in Lucid uh, like I have previously said. Right. So they're they're holding their shares uh, because they want to see a nice return right on their shares, too. Right. In my opinion. All right. <laughs> Cool. So, uh, yeah, that's the information I got. I just wanted to, you know, touch on things like the freaking haircuts, right? Um, there's a lot of information out there on them. Uh, so we got to, you know, do our best to understand these things. And, uh, yeah, I just want to thank the subscribers, the supporters, guys, right? Uh, let's continue to grow the family, right? It's such a fun journey. I love coming back here to you guys and, you know, doing the videos and, and shout out to y'all, right? Like, I really feel the support and I appreciate every single one of y'all. Uh, we started at zero sub subscribers, right? And we're moving along. So thank you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, get ready for this week, guys. I think it's going to be exciting. All right. Because uh, now it's it's out of our hands, right? This has to do with the banks and the collateral and the hedge funds and everybody who uh, has been, you know, maybe over leveraging themselves or taking too much credit. Right. Because um, you always have to be weary of the risk. Right. Like, oh, you think, oh, there's no risk. There's no risk. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll pay it back. I'll do this later. Right. But. There's always a risk, guys. All right. So thank you. Catch you all later. Have a great day.